Hey everyone, this is MYC Ball 417, back with Final Fantasy 13 Part 2. I just want to go over something really quick before I get into this video. Um, as you might notice, or you may not yet, but now you will be able to see it. Okay, as you might notice, my levels are actually more higher than they were in the previous videos. And... I mean, I, there are some things I do off videos. I try to keep it that only I, I'm only really doing story stuff. I'm not trying to farm in my videos. So, but you might notice I have, I'm like 99, 99. You might even notice my cheat shoes level 70. So, maybe you're wondering what did I do? Well, the only thing I really did was farm orbs, potent orbs, potent essences. That like that's all basically I farmed. I'll probably put in the description where you can find those things. That's all I really did. And I'm gonna show you something I did also real quick. Tomberry. I've been farming him. He gives really good gold. So I just been killing him a few times. I'll use and I'll just show this once before I actually get into the video just so you understand what I've been doing. Because he gives really good CP and he gives really good like deal and great fun. It's a little hard at first, but I mean once you farm the potent orbs, I mean I wasn't really able to kill him either until Chi Chi was up to notch, but once I got Chi Chi to go you know, this guy wasn't even that hard anymore. So now see look at Chi Chi, 18,000 is really good. So, and you know, there you go, kill him. Five stars, look at that, 4,800 CP, gill 12,000, he also drops the Scar Scarletite, which also can be sold for I believe 12,000. Uh, this is my first time getting the Hermes samples, but that's also another plus. You know, it's a great monster to farm. So I basically have been doing that. That's how you get really good CP. I've been using the CP to upgrade my characters, and yeah. Uh, also, I've been using the guild to buy pot not potent because you can't buy potent and stuff. But I've been buying different kind of orbs, you know, mana orbs, power orbs. I've been buying those kind of things just to upgrade my monsters. As well, I've also been hunting monsters, so you know, it's it's really e like a good way to make money. I know once you're even, like you have, to, you're more higher of a level, then there's better things to farm for guild, but you know, I think it's a pretty good way to get things. And I've also gotten the, what is it, the, the wild artifacts for the, for serpendipity, ser serpendipity, yeah. So now we can do vile peaks, vile, yeah, vile peaks. So we have to unlock it here. All right. <clears throat> so that's that's basically it. I just I just wanted people to understand that like if you take the time out to focus on certain things, such as getting like orbs or farming those kind of things. You know, if you've been keeping up my videos, the chocobo racing, all that stuff. If you've gotten the collector's catalog. You know, these things really do help towards getting certain items. And when you get these items, you can, you know, work on making your characters better. I mean, Chi Chi is a great monster to make strong, you know, and he'll help you. you know? So, that's what I focused on. I made Chi Chi good. I think I might even maxed out Cloud Burst. I mean, I haven't infused any of these monsters. I'll probably make a video along the lines after I get my... The fragment, the, the monster collector fragment, I believe it is. After I get that, then I'll start making videos on how to infuse them. And I'll probably put a link up as to where I got that. But yeah. All right, Vile Peaks 200. Let's go there. Hopefully, I'm not missing anything. The Vile Peaks. Uh, 
seems to have found something. doesn't mark them. I don't think there's anything over here. Um, I'm thinking this this area, or most areas in general, that should be a lot easier. Past. I wonder if she had to deal with this yeah. monster too. Do you remember hearing any stories about it? No, I don't think she mentioned anything like it. But it would be easy to hide in a place with so much Actually, rebel. Let me fix it real quick. I don't want more enemies. I want less enemies. And hey, you know. For enemies, that's fine. I'm gonna fight anything. It's possible it was asleep this whole time. not gonna hurt you, promise. Sorry, I thought you were gonna kill me. Wait, are you a search party? Yes, we heard the crazy story about a dark shadow that took down your airship. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. The corporal and I were thrown out of the ship, and when I came to, it was standing right in front of me. Listen up, I'm only gonna say this once. Don't go any further. That thing, that monster, it's not something you wanna mess with. If you value your lives at all, I suggest you turn around and go back. I'll go check on Torino. Alright, um, we're in 200 AF, so it's not something we're going to be fighting right now. He said right the Corporal was thrown out of the ship too, right? That means he should be around here somewhere. He couldn't have gone too far. I hate to say it, but it also probably means that he's not alive either. I'm not going the right way, though. No. In any case, let's look for him and bring him back to the others. Yeah, but I think we need to be really careful around this place. So like I was saying, though, I'm not going to be fighting this monster yet, because I'm supposed to fight him in 10 AF first, and then I fight him in 200 AF when he's weakened. What's this little thing over here? Oh, it's a gay wire. And while you're here, you probably should, might want to get, I believe it's Yakshini. It's a pretty good, I'm not sure if he's a synergist or what, but he's definitely worth getting. And this should be Odin over here. Are you a corporal in Blitz Squadron? How on earth do you know who I am? Who are you anyway? We can talk later. Right now we need to get you out of here. Agreed to help find the rest of my unit? It's comforting to know there are still good people in the world. 
But I can't go with you. I have to stay here. The monster that attacked us is still lurking around this place. A creature possessing that kind of power, who knows what kind of damage it can do to Cocoon. Someone needs to stay here and keep the beast occupied, or else the entire world could be in danger. No, you're just gonna get yourself killed. But perhaps, if you two came all this way by yourself, then it's possible that you have what it takes to defeat it. Alright, if you want, give it a shot. But if you're serious, talk to my men first. That loathsome creature isn't going anywhere. Before you came to find me, you ran into a few of my guys, right? Falcon is the one to talk to. He's got a key now. He might have noticed something about the monster. Tell him that Corporal Thunder orders him to give you his full cooperation. That's my call sign. Thunder. I mean, we're not supposed to defeat him yet, so I don't know why he would tell me to. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have to go to 10 a.m. first. Watch out. <clears throat> and I just want to make sure that I'm doing everything in this area before I just jump back to 200 and then jump back to 10 and then 200 because the loading screen is just way too long for that even though I cut that out anyways watch out right now. The corporal's always been one to shoulder all the responsibility. Definitely sounds like something he would do. Okay, then how about this? What's the corporal's call sign? Thunder. Duh. Everyone knows that. That's right. You really did talk to the corporal. Fine. I'm going to have any more of them. The powerful energy source was being sent to that area from another time. In fact, it was so powerful that it blew up our caliber. The creature's getting its powers from a different time. Getting rid of that power source should weaken it considerably. Take this with you, so you don't get lost along the way. You've retained Falcon's compass. This is proof your cooperation with the Blitz culture. Alright, so now let's head back to 10AF. There we go, 10 AF. circle around just so if there's anyone there we could find them. It's not like we're gonna be countering all the monsters. Where is he? Where is he doing? Over there, brother. Oh, I didn't even see him. The man we encountered was an elite member of the Blitz Squadron. They called him Baxter. He was wounded from head to toe, but miraculously, none of his wounds were fatal. The airship that was carrying these Academy soldiers was attacked by a dark shadow in the sky before it crashed to the ground. It's a miracle they survived this horrible accident. The airship went up in flames. I don't know if the others survived. But I do remember one thing. After the crash, I saw that our pilot brain was still breathing. He must have wandered off somewhere. Of course. Would you mind looking for my friends? I know this. Alright, Baxter's last light.
The soldiers of Blitz Squadron were scattered through the past and the future. This wasn't an ordinary accident. The most likely explanation is that the Dark Entity traveled through time. But where did it come from? We already know we're gonna go to the area where Torino is at, because I'm sure there's something over there. As for this big area, I'm hoping there's nothing that I'm missing. <laughs> Seeing as all these guys like to hide. Oh. And that's the actually me that I was talking about. Still not sure if he was a synergist or a side. But he just got killed really easy. That's Chichu. Whoa, I just got something. I had a really long name that I can't pronounce. So we'll go this way first, because I know there's something over there, I can already see something. So you claim the other guys in my unit asked you to look for me. Show me some proof and maybe I'll believe what you say. I recognize this compass. It's Falcon. And maybe what you're saying is true. My name's Ray. I'm the Blitz Squadron pilot. I wish I could join up with the other guys in my squad. But for now, I've got to stay right where I am. Target Blitz. Trapped in the Paradox. I want to help them out of there, but some monster I can't see is blocking my way. It's the Dark Shadow, the beast that took down our airship. It wasn't phased by the ship's barrage. With our current gear and weapons, I don't think we stand a chance. Damn it, isn't there anything I can do? I hope you have a plan of some sort. Be careful, it's stronger than you might think. Alright. Um, I guess now I can try to fight him. Not, I hope there's nothing else I'm forgetting. I know I've only gotten two fragments since I've been here. So, there must be another something else that I might be missing before I fight him. I'm not really sure. I already see him. In the year 10 AF, Blitz Squadron was assaulted by a shadowy beast. The enemy was not from this world. The personification of chaos born from the chasms of time. The beast was formed from memories carved in the very surface of the planet. It took the hideous form of an ancient, forgotten past. It was... <sighs> Odin? Is lightning behind all of this? No, it's not hers. It's just an empty vessel. It doesn't have any human thoughts or emotions. Please, Sarah. Banish this twisted reflection of the past back into the darkness. <clears throat> Should be too hard. Let's take this guy. Home. Yeah, he doesn't really do that much damage. But then again, I'm not doing much damage either. Probably won't be until he gets staggered. Come on, where is he? We were going for something. Come on, I'm on this thing. There we go. Twilight Fragment Alpha. The essence of this creature is this fragment. 
Sergeant Blitz. That was what he wasn't one I really talked to, was he? Wait, that's the case. He was up here. And maybe, maybe the shadow that appeared in the future was also an illusion. Probably, but now that we have its energy source, there's a good chance we could defeat the thing. Where is he? He's over there. So that wasn't too bad. I'm sure it being so easy is due to the fact that I've been farming first off and training on that Tomberry, but who knows. I highly recommend that anyone who's watching this video do that though. I mean, there's really no point to fight things on equal terms when you're able to make yourself considerably better. Because you're already at the end of the game, so why not just, you know, farm for things to make your guy better? There he is. Over there, Mom. I want to thank you, too. I'd be dead if it weren't for you. I'm Blitz. I live in the investigative unit for the Academy. Who are you? No, Christ. I'm Sarah Farron. Did you say Farron? Wait a minute. You do look kind of familiar. So you're... I see. I, I see. Uh, um, did I miss something? I apologize. I never thought the day would come when Sergeant Farron's younger sister would save my life. What a strange twist of fate. You mean lightning? How do you know my sister? We go way back. We were all in the same security force. We took our duty seriously, working hard to keep peace and order in the town of Bodom. So your call sign is Blitz, and the other soldier's call sign is Thunder. I think I know where you got your inspiration. That obvious, huh? It was sort of an homage to Lightning. But my sister, she quit the military and was branded a traitor by the Sanctum. Yeah, for a long, long time, I was pretty ticked off at her. But after a while, I saw the truth behind her actions. Although it was hard to see at first, she was trying to save Cocoon. She was fighting against the Falci, alone, standing up for what she believed in. That's when I knew I couldn't just sit back and watch this go down. In the guise, we applied for positions in the Academy's force. In my heart, I believe we're still on the same team, your sister and I. We're trying to make the world a better place. Thank you, Sergeant. When I see my sister, I'll be sure to tell her what you said. She'll be happy to hear from an old friend. Well, I just hope she hasn't forgotten about us after all these years. But whatever happens to the world, whoever you might have to face, make sure you find her. Your sister cares for you more than anything in the world, you know. All right. We finally located all six members of the Blitz Squadron. But guys, there's Do we head back or do we just head to a different time zone now? Um still one more important thing we need to do. We need to help the corporal. He's not gonna be able to fight for much longer. And I don't yeah, want so to let's head back to 200 AF. Let's do this. Before we fight anything, we'll just end this video here. It's getting a little long and I'd rather not have to cut out scenes. I don't I don't like doing it. So we'll just end this one here. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. See ya.